I asked you what dog should we save? Look at this pup. Hi, what's your name? And I'm happy to say I'm on my way to the shelter right now to grab a dog. Oh, look at him. What a character. I'm at my bakery for dogs, baking them a cake because when I go there and I tell them that they are now safe forever, I want to surprise them with a delicious cake to celebrate. But one of the reasons I'm able to spend so much time at the shelter is because I have an awesome team that works here. That's why when the sponsor of this video, ZipRecruiter, reached out, I was really excited to talk about my stores, the dog bakery, and our awesome team. This portion of the video is sponsored by ZipRecruiter, who really helped me find the right candidates so I can keep the ovens running. The dog treats flowing. With things like custom templates and ZipRecruiter's matching technology that scans millions of resumes and even invites them to apply, it allows me more time to spend with our four-legged customers. I really like logging into my dashboard because ZipRecruiter spotlights top candidates. And it's important, I don't wanna miss the best candidates for the dog bank. You can easily review recommended candidates and invite them to apply, which encourages them to apply faster. If you're a business owner like me, you probably face a lot of challenges when you're trying to find the right candidate for the role. Whether you need to hire someone quickly, you're not getting the right resumes, or just not walking in the door, that's where a ZipRecruiter really comes in. Based on my experience, it is no surprise ZipRecruiter is the number one rated hiring site. Try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash Rocky. Special thanks to ZipRecruiter for sponsoring this portion of my video. Now back to my regular content. Okay, here we go. Cake's ready. Wow, look at that. Oh my goodness, looks good. It smells so good. Let's frost this thing up. Wow, look at that. That is fantastic. Okay, this is a very special cake. We're gonna break the dog out of the shelter and we're gonna surprise him with this cake. Now, I just gotta figure out what we should write on this cake. What should we put like the dog's name idea. on it? What? You, oh, oh. The boss, my wife, Kelly, has an idea. What is it? What Happy is it? Gotcha Day. That's really good. All right, let's see what you got. Wow, okay, spin it around. Oh no, you spelled it wrong. <laughs> did, what did I spell wrong? No, I'm kidding, it's oh. right. <laughs> We're about to pull our pup from the shelter today and deliver this dog the happy gotcha cake. So here's how it's gonna work. We're actually gonna be fostering this pup as long as it takes to get them adopted, but they're never gonna have to go back to the shelter again. From here on out, they are safe with us. It breaks my heart, I can only take one, but I hope others see this and it encourages them to foster. Then we can save them all. <laughs> oh yeah! Go ahead, it's all yours, buddy. Oh, that's a big bite. <laughs> he loves it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh yeah. You want another big bite? Get a big bite. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. Yeah, it, it's very, it's really emotional. Like we've been waiting for days and like, it just, it just, it's so cool to see how excited the team is that he's going home and we're gonna need help naming him. So leave comments down below on what you think we should name him and stick around because we're going to go home right now and he's going to meet our other dog. So let's see what Kobe and Flip think of him. Yeah, you're ready, huh? <laughs> you're going to have a parade of people saying bye to you. All right. He's like, you can all come with me, let's go. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys, I appreciate it. Okay, say bye buddy, let's go, let's go. Man, that's giving me the chills. That was unexpected. You don't always have people cheering when a uh, dog goes out the door, so that was really neat. Yes! I'm so excited, are you so excited? So excited. Everyone, this is like a big moment. The feeling when you foster a dog and you get to take them home, and you, you make a commitment and a promise to them that they're always gonna be okay from here on out. There's nothing like it. Oh, you're ready he right knows. away. Okay. We've got the bed set up for him. Okay, oh, 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 oh. oh. okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's not messing around. He's ready to go home, man. With him, I wanna be really cautious and cognitive. Because he was locked in a crate for months or years, 
his hindquarters, there's something wrong with it. There's something going on. Anywhere from, from kidney problems to just joint issues. And so I, I put this bed in here. I just want to make everything really comfortable for him. I normally would crate a dog when I'm taking them home, but with him, I want to, I want to try to keep him away from crates right now until we figure out what's wrong with him. Okay, we're home. He's about to go see a backyard for the first time. Is it the first time? I don't know. I always assume with dogs like this that have been neglected that everything is a first experience. He likely didn't have a big backyard to run around in. So we're gonna do that, see how it goes, and then I can't wait for him to meet uh, Flip and Kobe. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right, all right. He is ready to go. All right, let's go to the backyard. This area right here of our yard is fenced in. So it's always tough. Like, I don't think he's a runner, but I also don't think he'll come when he's called yet. He has not been trained, but I think in this area, I could catch him with those, with the problems he's got with his hind legs. I don't think he's gonna be able to run too far too fast. He's getting around pretty good. Yeah. Hi, bud. Okay, I'm gonna let Flip out to say hi. Okay. Okay. Now Flip he is kind of our lead dog. So he really helps set the tempo, the tone. He's friendly when he needs to be. He really kind of sets the pace of the pack. So see his, his tail's wagging, he's a happy boy, but you know, he's also checking it out. Who is this guy? This is good. This is good. This is, this is a really great start. Okay. You keep watching them. I'll go get Kobe and let him out. Okay. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Everyone's checking it. Everyone's checking everybody out. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Are you guys seeing this? Are you guys, are you guys smelling this? What? <laughs> Are you? You know what I mean. Kobe! Good boy, good boy. Come on, boy! Here's a plan when we foster a dog. It's kind of a, I'd say a four step plan. One, decompress. Let the dog just have their space, be comfortable with the area, let them know they're safe. Two, is definitely kind of an assessment of what the problem is. So we're gonna assess and uh, take this bulldog to the vet, observe him, see what the pain points are. Uh, does he drink a lot of water? Does it hurt to sit down? Does he have potty problems? Uh, and then three, problem solve. What are the problems? Can we completely solve the problem? Can we ease the pain if there's pain? And then uh, last but not least, when all of that is worked out, then we find him the right family. And uh, hopefully, one of you watching right now is just that person. So, follow us on this journey, make sure you are following along, subscribe, uh, whatever it takes, because I want you to be part of this journey. It's gonna be a really neat one for this dog. I can already tell he's gonna be really awesome, but it's not gonna be easy. There's gonna be a, a lot of, uh, I think a lot of medical bills, but we'll do whatever it takes to help him.